The S&P 500 briefly surpassed the 6,000 mark and closed on November 8 with its biggest weekly percentage gain in a year. As Donald Trump's election victory and a possible Republican Party sweep in Congress fueled expectations for favorable business policies. Also supporting stocks this week was a widely expected interest rate cut of 25 basis points by the Federal Reserve on Thursday. The market today is up largely because there's enthusiasm around the Trump election and that uh, the market feels that there's going to be tax cuts and deregulation and that in turn means that there's going to be greater growth going forward. And so I think that that has helped propel the markets to the all-time highs that we're seeing today. According to preliminary data, the S&P 500 gained 22.44 points or 0.38% to end at 5,995.54 points, while the Nasdaq Composite gained 17.32 points or 0.09% to 19,286.78. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 259.65 points, or 0.59%, to 43,988.99. Markets can continue to go higher as long as we continue to keep inflation in check and the labor market uh, stays relatively steady. In addition to that, the consumer is really a really important part of the equation. So as long as the consumer con continues to consume, companies will continue to have good earnings. And that's, uh, so I think that the market can continue to rally for some time going forward. The S&P 500 and the Dow Industrials were on track for their best weekly percentage jump since early November 2023, with the Nasdaq on pace for its best in two months and second best week of 2024. Investors were also monitoring for a likely red sweep as Republicans were set to keep their narrow lead in the House of Representatives after winning control of the Senate. That would make it easier for Trump to enact his legislative plans. Expectations for lower corporate taxes and deregulation under Trump have helped push the benchmark S&P index and the Dow to intraday record highs for the three straight sessions. The S&P is on track to secure its 50th record close of the year. Earth News. Based on foreign media reports.